What is up, you guys? So it is week 20. I am here with not only the Torres sisters, but Mookie. Hey. hey. On today's <laughs> episode, we have a lot of fun stuff for you guys. So as I mentioned, it's week 20. We are going to be in the kitchen with Heather making your infamous oh. zucchini boats. Oh. Yeah, so the infamous zucchini boats that you guys have all been asking for, Heather's going to make them for us today. We've got Mookie here. We're going to be sitting down with Heather again later in the episode to talk a little bit about where Heather's at currently. T's going to update us on how she's done all week. And Mookie? I just want some of those zucchini boats. Heather's been telling me about it, and I love getting any tips on healthy meals, and I think, like, these are the type of videos that are always the most informative, teaching yeah. how to make healthy meals, so I'm here to learn from Heather. Absolutely, okay. guys. So we're excited about today. Um, hang tight. All right. Hi, guys. Okay, so for my zucchini boats, um, I usually get like a pack. Of, these are I get these from Trader Joe's. So they're usually like three or five of them, and they're for like two dollars and forty nine cents. So super good deal. So I usually just get a pack and then um, just kind of rinse them off real quick, and then I'll show you how I cut them in half and get them out and I also the seeds that I get out I save them because then I add it into my ground turkey so just gives it more flavor and that way I'm not wasting any food because I love zucchinis so basically I just cut off the ends like so and once you start making these, they're seriously so fast and they're so good. So after you cut off the end, you're just going to cut them in half. So just like that. You got your little boats going. Go. It's okay if they're not perfect, it doesn't matter. And you got that, and then I just use a spoon and basically just gut out the seeds so then I can cook my ground turkey and then I add the ground turkey in here. So yeah, just take that out and then I save it, put it to the side because then I'm gonna chop it up into like smaller pieces so I can add it with my ground turkey. Okay, so I already chopped up all the seeds and put to the side. So now I put some water to boil and then I'm literally just adding a little bit of salt to that. Okay, Kevin. And yeah. <laughs> and then as soon as that starts boiling, I'm gonna put my zucchinis in the water, let it boil for about one or two minutes so they soften. And then I'm gonna cook the ground turkey and get them loaded to go to put them in the oven. Nice and simple, guys. Can't wait. I like it. I like it too. So now I have my ground turkey. So I use Jenny O, my fave. Um, I always get it on sale at Rouse, like two forty nine. And so this is, I believe, it's one pound sixteen ounces. So this is actually like four meals right here. Um, so one, two, three, four. <laughs> Yeah, so, and it's like perfect for all the zucchini boats. Sometimes I have a little bit extra, so then I'll just like add it onto the side. So I'm just gonna get this going and... What are you I, doing over here, Tiffany? Sorry um, to interrupt. I'm just making the, the part we scooped out of the zucchini boats, just chopping it up a little finer so we can mix it in with the ground turkey. Yeah, and the only spices I use in my ground turkey is Italian seasoning and paprika because there's like barely any calories if there's any in here, no calories. And um, it's better because the Pinterest one that I found it off, it had, they used like a taco seasoning and that has so much sodium. So this is just my healthier alternative and it tastes bomb. So let's uh, show them your, how yeah. you season this. Yeah, so I literally just plop that in there and I'm going to brown it up first so it's not pink anymore and then I'm going to add the seasoning. Alright, guess then we'll catch up with them as it gets brown and we'll yes, do the can't seasoning. Wait. Okay, so now my turkey is all brown and I add just Italian seasoning up in here, add as much as you like and some paprika and then just mix it all together and then after I mix this I'm going to add my zucchini, I call them my zucchini guts, <laughs> they're, they're the seeds and then I actually even add um, green bell peppers in it too, I'm just 
taste, I like pepper, so it makes everything taste a little bit more better. And I'm about to drop the zucchinis to boil while I finish putting everything. Pop them in like so. Oops. Alright. So I'll let, leave those in there for about two minutes and now I'm going to add the zucchini guts up in here. Mix it up. And actually it makes it a little bit fuller too. So I use this um, salsa. You can use any type of salsa. You can use like a pasta sauce, but pasta sauce has a lot more sodium in it. So this one has like literally less sodium, zero fat, only uh, 10 calories, like one sugar. So I'm just gonna pour this like all at the bottom of my pan so my zucchini doesn't stick to it. Mm. And then it it gets all warm and you can add it on top too. So, I'm just so um, that. I like that idea. It's smart. Yeah. So salsa is like the. You kind of avoid putting oil too. Yeah. I would use exactly. the oil, but that's like. Yeah. So. Okay. Olive oil is calories. <laughs> oh my god. Tiffany, I need your your oh. strength. Oh, the geez. rare breed strength. This, yeah. Dead. Let's, Let's go. Dead. It's in the. <laughs> it's in the blood. Yeah. Okay. So I just add that in there. Who's stronger? Is your mom or dad strong? Who Who do you think it? You get it from? I don't know. Good question. None of them. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, did you say? What did you say? I said none of them. Oh, so just kidding. So now you're gonna oh, put low. these together. Yeah. So now I'm gonna take the zucchinis out and place them in here and it's kind of like a little fun puzzle because sometimes they don't all fit so <laughs> you just kind of have to go how many zucchinis do you usually eat um i usually eat like two and i get full and i'll have like cauliflower rice or regular rice like if i do have regular rice i'll have like um half a scoop but if i'm really hungry i'll have three but that's kind of pushing it because i they they're actually very filling even though it looks like a lot of vegetables but like i said they do justice okay i'm all up in my little dish and now i'm just gonna scoop out the ground turkey and i did add some green bell peppers in here and the guts and you just fill them up and then i add some shredded cheese on top of it and put it to bake for 30 minutes and it's done Hooey. I just uh, zoomed into your face, Heather. Sorry. <laughs> That's cool. I did my makeup today. <laughs> and you said you put cheese on top? Yeah, I put shredded cheese. So I use this like Mexican shredded cheese. It's a reduced fat. Um, and I only use a little bit of it. So, I mean, it's like 90 calories for a fourth cup, but I literally just like spread it around and melt it in there. Awesome. So we'll show you guys when it's out of the oven. Yeah. Last week, I sat down with Tiffany and her and I had a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one a little bit about where she's at in the process and allow herself some time to talk to you guys and to come face-to-face -face with herself on really where she's at, but also why she's doing what she's doing now. So I tasked Heather last week with the same question that I tasked Tiffany with, which is, why are you doing this? And as I mentioned last week, this changes as you guys go through the process. So Heather found out last week she got to ponder the question all week long. Um, so Heather and I are going to take a second to really talk because Heather's, uh, Heather's story is very different than Tiffany's. So Heather's why is going to be incredibly different and our approach for Heather is going to be incredibly different for that reason. So Heather. Yes. <clears throat> talk to us. So I, I'm going to interrupt Heather. Yeah. Um, talk to us too about why you initially wanted to do this and now right. talk to us about where you're at now in the process. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. So yeah, so when I first started my journey, I obviously wanted to lose all my baby weight because yeah. I was um, super overweight yeah. right after having my baby. I basically had my baby, I lost like 30 pounds, and then I was just used to eating like really bad and how I was when I was pregnant. So then I gained all that back plus more. So I was, you know, like literally like 180 pounds, like 
almost a year postpartum so yeah. that was like very hard and difficult for me because I'm a little person and like just being that heavy I've never been that heavy in my life and I was, yeah. at least when I was pregnant I had a reason but then you know I wasn't pregnant anymore and I was still like that big but I wasn't you know exercising or anything and like I lost my job so I was like very depressed so I was kind of like in a bad like place in my life then yeah um, so now that I've lost all my baby weight, um, I'm super happy and I feel like I kind of like was, I feel like I haven't been as strict on myself because I was kind of just like, well, like celebrating like myself because I reached a big milestone for myself. Yeah. But I do know that I want to like continue to go farther. Like I would love to lose like another like 15 pounds, yeah. um, just so I could be like super healthy and super fit and just feel like more confident and be able to yeah. you know like look like you one day <laughs> oh, <well. clears throat> um but, yeah. so last week we touched a lot about self-discipline with tiffany and it not just being about self-discipline but about it being about the bigger picture so with you heather again it's really about that bigger picture but heather is much different in the fact that she's already reached this big milestone so for her to lose her baby weight in a lot of ways is 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 basically like I reached my end point like the end point that I thought I was capable of I've reached it so Heather's situation is not so much self-discipline in the process Heather's actual thing right now is going to be leveling up which means she's got to really think about what she ultimately wants in life and think about how she's going to get there now because she's capable of it she's reached the first milestone but now she's got to want it for herself to keep going past that milestone and for a lot of people this is difficult because we almost can't think about what we're capable of beyond what we think we're capable of and the truth is that there's far more beyond it right um so when you talk about wanting to be more wanting to lose weight like even more weight Specifically, how do you plan to do that? I just know I have to up my activity level because yeah. it's not up that much. Like my right. eating is like pretty on point. So yeah. I've, I've, I'm happy that I've mastered that because I've been able to like balance, mm -hmm. like like keep my weight the same. I yeah. maybe like lose a, a pound here and there. Mm -hmm. um, but so I definitely need to be more active. Which is awesome, right? So now that's going to come into our self-discipline. So Heather really has mastered nutrition, which is great because that's the biggest thats the biggest thing to master in this whole process. Now Heather has to master daily activity. And daily activity, to me, is the fun part, right? right. It's the thing where you guys get to decide, am I going to go to the gym? Am I going to take a class? Like, what am I going to do in order to bump my daily activity up? And there's a lot more room for wiggly hair and a lot more room for creativity. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. So what we have to figure out now for Heather are the actual steps that we're going to put in place for Heather to ensure that she's been going, um, that she's going to be doing this daily. Because that is going to be the next step is to incorporate daily activity, not just activity in general. Um, Heather has her notebook here. So I want Heather to talk a little bit about her notebook because she used our strategy from last week and I want her to talk about how it worked for her. <clears throat> yeah. So I have my blah, blah, blah <laughs> notebook here. And um, I was kind of, when you first told me about it, I was kind of like, mm. I don't really know how I feel about this, but then I was like, okay, Heather, like, just whatever, just do it, listen to Kristen. Just do it. Yeah. And I did, and I feel like it really, like, helped me because I wrote my goals of what I want, and so I feel like it, it really made me, like, sit down and think about, like, what I want in life, and I, like, just, I feel like it was just, like, an eye-opening experience for me because, like, I feel like I was still, like, a little sad and depressed with just like other like family things going on and so I feel like I got to like be like selfish for myself and like see like what I want for myself to better myself and to be better for my daughter and stuff like that. The so. truth is is that the saying you've got to fill your cup before you can fill others it's an honest quote you guys it really means that you've got to put time and energy into yourself and being the best version of yourself in order for you to be the best for other people in your lives so for you guys to take two minutes a day and write down in a notebook things that one you're grateful for and two you want to accomplish it really helps open up your perspective on what you're capable of yeah like I feel like it made me just like be in a better mood yeah. like I feel like I've been like just like sad and down or just like mm -hmm. tired a lot and like I know like a lot of other stuff has been like going on yeah. with me like personally or whatever but like I feel like being able to like do this has like made me like given me more energy in a source because I've like 
being able to like write my feelings down like makes me feel better and then just like holding myself accountable so I can know like yeah. so you know I have like my week of what I did like how many ounces of water I drink and because yeah. I feel like during the week I do really good and then on the weekends I kind of like slack off so knowing that like I have to write in here on yeah. the weekends too like helps me be more like strict on myself yeah, which was the whole purpose of the notebook. It was a source of accountability that they had for themselves, which you guys can do at home for next to nothing. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> let's recap the three things that you were writing down daily besides your goals and what you were thankful for, essentially. Okay. So I was writing my ounces of water, mm -hmm. um, my calories for the day, and my activity. So yeah. my exercise. So, yeah. Um, and I did, um, so yeah, I, so I started it, I started on Tuesday. And so uh, Tuesday I didn't I didn't work out, but I worked out Wednesday through Sunday. Look so, at you! Yeah, I did thirty minutes of cardio, running, hill sprints, yeah. pushing a stroller with my daughter, and then I did go to the gym with you yeah. on Saturday. So. So how do you feel looking back at this now? Um, like accomplished and yeah, happy and. I know that I can do it. I feel yeah. like I just wasn't like making myself and last week I was just like, okay, like I picked up my daughter. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to go for a run now before the sun goes down. Yeah. And so like I just did it and I felt so much better. Like after I work out, like I just feel like get all those good endorphins and yeah. I feel so much better about myself. So in Heather's case where it's not so much self-discipline because the notebook does help with discipline. Um, it's more about bringing something to fruition. It's about bringing the future for her to actual life. And by writing her steps down and feeling accomplished, it's going to help her stay motivated in the process altogether. Um, so this little trick to just start writing down three things a day, the water, your daily activity, and um, the activity. calories that you yeah. ate really can be a huge tool. And it's something that it's it's between you and your notebook. It's not between you and anybody else. And now you see what you're capable of. And now next week you can set your goal for a little bit more than this. If Heather did four days this week of daily activity at 30 minutes, then let's go 35 minutes next week. What's five more minutes a day, right? right? You see that you can do it, so yeah. push yourself. It's about leveling up now. Um, I'm excited for Heather because this is a really fun point in a weight loss journey is when you kind of make that turn past just the weight loss aspect. So Heather gets to start to focus now on things that she really genuinely enjoys in terms of activity, whether it's strength training, whether it's some sort of class, like a dance class. Um, and it, it really gets to be the rewarding part because now you get to see what you're really capable of outside of weight loss. So she's gonna continue to focus on that, but we're gonna start to change it up and make it more of a personal challenge for her versus just the scale going down. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, the zucchini boat should be close to done. I'm excited to check those out. Yes, they're delicious. Yes. Looking good. The zucchini boats are done. Thanks, Chef Heather and Natural Ooh. on camera. Donata. Thank you. Thank you. Nobody loves cooking, but you did this so greatly. You're welcome. This looks amazing. Here, I'll serve you guys. Oh, service. Oh. Activity first. Thank you. Here, you get two in person. Oh, love it. Or more. Whatever. I love when it looks like you're eating a lot, but it's not that much but it's calories. Not. So that's where vegetables really come in handy <laughs> is that if you guys are what's considered like a volume eater, which means you okay. prefer to eat a bigger amount of food that's more satisfying for you, then vegetables really are the key because they provide not only micronutrients, but you typically can eat a, more, a bigger volume of those for less calories. And then let me get a spoon because I usually oh, yeah. get salsa this and like, put it on top and it's bomb. Right there with you. Oh, Mookie's so diving in. Mookie is king of diving in early. <laughs> it's okay. Kristen called me out. I, I did it last Thank time, you. too. <laughs> they just, it's so good. I can't help myself. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Heather, this looks so good. Heather, let's talk about calories for a second. So you use one package yeah. of ground turkey, 93.7. Yeah. Um, we're getting four servings out of this right now. So we're looking at about seven grams of fat plus the cheese. So maybe about right. 10 grams of fat per serving if you're doing two to three boats. Yep. Um, we're looking at about probably, I want to say 24 to 27 grams of protein. Um, carb wise, it's just the zucchini, unless you're Mookie with his rice. It's just the zucchini. So you're looking at a really minimal uh, amount of carbs. I mean, they're only coming from the salsa and whatever's in the cheese basically and, and the zucchini. Um, maybe 10 grams of carbs per serving if not less so yeah. super calorie friendly i love yes. the fact that it's high in protein yep how is it you guys amazing let's see what mookie's meal says mookie's meals tell us what you think wow i love it is it so good 
Mm. Oh, Tiffany's never had it either, actually. Tea thoughts. So good. Right? So good. I know this is one of Penelope's favorites. Yeah, Penelope eats a whole zucchini boat by herself. So it's good for her, too. I have so many moms, bro, who I just don't eat. I'm like, okay, I don't eat. Like, I just take care of the kids. I'm like, my kids would not do shit until I eat. I feel like, you could sit your ass down. <laughs> Is that on camera? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put that in there as a blooper? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm not a parent. Um, I'm dead. Um, I'm definitely going to put this on the outro. <laughs> yes. Thanks. So for those of you who commented last week and asked if I have kids, no, I don't have kids. <laughs> um, I'm still selfish in life and I'm not ready for them. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Heather, for making a zucchini boats. They look so yes, amazing. Thank, thank you, you, Mookie, thank for you. being here. P is ready to sign off. You're welcome. Mookie, thanks for being here. Of Excited course. to watch your journey. Make sure you guys check out Mookie's channel. You guys can catch him at... Mookie, yes. Simple. <laughs> nice and simple. He's got a lot of really fun content right now, you guys. Go check it out. T's here with us. T, yes. thanks for being here today. Catch us next week. The girls will wait in next week, and we will update you guys on what's going on. Yeah. So make sure you guys... Like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to turn on those post notifications.